Hi everyone, so I'm back again with another blow dry video. So if you want to learn how to get your hair just like this using a brown brush and your hair dryer, then please make sure to keep on watching. Perfect, so we're going to get started. So my hair is wet in my towel and we're going to get started by putting some products on. So every time I blow dry my hair, I put these following products on. So we're going to start off with the Joyco K-Pack Liquid Reconstructor. Spray about three to four pumps just all over the hair. And then we're going to go in with the milkshake, leave-in conditioner, and we're going to do the same again. So three to four pumps just all over. And then we're going to go in with the Moroccan oil. I'm literally just putting a tiny pea size in my hands, and I'm going to rub it through and then just put it through my mid lengths and ends. You've got to be very careful when you're applying this product as it, it can be quite heavy. And then we're going to give it a comb through. This is just a normal average paddle brush. So give it a nice push through, make sure it's nice and ready to blow dry. Now I'm using the Diva Repeater 4000 hair dryer and I'm just blasting. So mainly when I'm blasting, uh, I do it at the root area. Just, it's just going to make it easier for us. So when we're blow drying with the brush, then we don't need to worry about the root area so much because we're getting it mostly with the blasting stage, which is now. So I do blow dry and I would always recommend to do it with a nozzle on your hair dryer. So pop your parting in and then this is the brush that I'm using. So it is from Salon Services, so a Sally's and it's 53 millimeter. It's a ceramic one. You don't have to get the one from Sally's. However, this is the one that I'm using for this video. So it's just a round ceramic brush. This one I'm using today is 53 millimeters. So it completely depends on how tight you want that flick on the ends. Right, so we're going in. So because we've blasted most of the roots off we don't need to worry too much with getting the hair dry near towards the roots because we've already covered most of the roots so we're going to go in and as you're bringing it down you're holding so depending if you're right-handed or left-handed have a little go either side whichever is easiest for you i'm right-handed so i do hold my brush in my left hand and my hair dry in my right hand so just whatever's comfortable for you. So whilst you're bringing it down, so notice how as well the nozzle is facing down. So you're smoothing the cuticles of the hair at the same time. So if you've got more frizzy hair, that's going to smooth your hair as well as giving that nice flick, which is what the blow dry is about today. So I'm just going down and just making sure I'm twisting the brush as I'm going down, wrapping it up and then heating it. Now I have just left the brush in the hair, completely up to you how comfortable you feel with leaving it in. I only do it if I fancy it really. Um, so I just let it out. So I've left it in the brush for, I've cropped a bit out of it, but I'd leave it in for normally around 30 seconds just so it can cool down in the shape. Let it out, let it sit for a bit and then move on to the next section. Notice how as well I'm keeping my sections very neat and tidy. So if I feel like a section's gonna get in the way, I'll just pin it up so I can focus and keep my sections nice and tidy because then you're making sure that you're covering all the hair with the blow dry and you've not got any scraggler pieces, which will frustrate you if they are. And I'm also making sure that the section that I'm using to blow dry is the same size, the same width, if anything, less than the bristles on the brush. So just wrap it up, let it cool down for about 30 seconds and then you can see that it's just formed that nice shape. Move on to the next section, keep your sections nice and tidy. I always say to keep your sections nice and tidy and then move on to the next one. So you see, if some bits do come out, don't worry, just literally go over them again and just like my hands there, holding all the hairs within place so then they're going to stay within the bristles so if you have got a few bits flying out from you know snappage or hair breakage of the hair then just make sure to hold the hair in place with your hand and just guide it within the bristles so then you're not missing out any bits of hair because if you do miss out any bits that stay straight or frizzy then you will notice them when you've completed the blow dry so you want it all to be as nice and even so when you're going down, so I'm just going down and keeping the nozzle facing down, twisting the hair round the brush until it flows round. If it gets stuck, then you're going to end up with fish hooks where it gets slightly frizzy on the ends because it's not glided round the brush before wrapping it up. So see here how I've changed position with my brush, how I'm holding it when I'm blow drying it. This is completely up to you whether you want to try this tight. It is more difficult to do it from the back, especially looking in the mirror. You can get confused with, you know, where to go and where to put your hair dryer, etc. But it's whatever you feel comfortable with. 
um, but I just find this easier as I am right-handed and because the section is more further down. Um, so you just go around and just make sure the hair, like now, hold on to the hair if you need to, to make sure you need to twist the brush round until it's gliding round and then you can wrap it up. So always make sure the hair is not stuck on the end, the ends of your hair isn't stuck on the brush before you wrap it up. So there you go. So I'm also, I check if, so I'll go down and I'll do it a few times, wrap it up, heat it, let it cool down for a couple of seconds and I'll check it to see if I'm satisfied with how much bend I've got in the ends of my hair. So I'll have a look, every time I do it, I'm looking to see if I'm happy with the men's and also make sure the hair is 100% dry each time you do each section because if it's a little bit damp, if it's damp left over, then it's not gonna, it's gonna, it needs to be fully dry or else it's not gonna set in whatever style you're doing it. So I'm just making sure that I'm happy with that and then moving on to the next section. Also, as you can see in the sides, I have got a little bit of volume as well. I do like that volume. I'm not a massive volume person. However, if you do like the volume as well, then just make sure to try and go up with the brush at the root area. And as well, when if you did notice, when I blasted the hair before, I made sure that the parting wasn't in place so I can get as much volume as possible. I was blasting the hair all over different directions to make sure that I want that volume actually going away from the direction that you that the hair will fall eventually when you finish the blow dry. So make sure you get all the back area, make sure you do blast it off at the root. There's me pulling funny faces. Would it ever be a video with me? pulling funny faces or singing this is where i just get a bit too comfortable i'm like right i'm blow drying now i've got the hang of it i'm flying through it let's sing so make sure as well so i'm showing you each section i'm taking just showing you clipping out of the way keep it nice and neat just making sure so as i'm blow drying it up so the more up and away from where the hair is going to fall the more volume you are going to get from it and I know a lot of people like the volume so if you do then make sure you're going to direct the hair up so I've left that for a good 30 seconds before letting it out of the brush and placing it down into the rest of the sections so don't be afraid to leave it in and just let it cool down because if you let it out when the brush and the hair is still hot it's going to cool down outside of the brush so say if you were to only leave it two seconds let it out and let the hair down loose then it'll drop a bit quicker so you need it to set you need it to cool down within the shape before you then take it out and let it loose and let it sit on its own it's coming through to this back section do it nice and high if you can you know start off everything takes time and everything takes practice but definitely give it a go do whatever makes you feel comfortable also i just want to know within this video my this style you could do the exact same thing as i'm doing now but it might look completely different on your hair when it's all finished so i do have layers cut in my hair so i've got shape around my face and i've got layers coming through the back section so this also does help with volume so if you do want that volume within your hair I would advise obviously to completely dependent on the hair type and your hair length, etc, etc and what you like. But I do recommend that layers do fit in with this blow dry perfectly. So in case you're thinking oh, it's just sitting all at the ends or it's not holding right, it's not giving me enough volume. It may be to do with your hair cut, the way it's cut, but it's completely up to what you know you would like or what your hairdresser would recommend, everything like that. Um, but just noting that it may come out obviously slightly different and my hair type is medium to thick hair so my hair does stay in style really well so if I was to do this blow dry it would last until I next blow dried it perfect so that's the last section there we are so I'm just putting it into my part and putting it into place and now I'm just giving it a general brush through if you have got a finer hair type Try not to brush it as much as I probably am. I can, like I said, I can get away with it. Um, brushing it as much as I like because I know it'll last until I next wash it. 
So here it is, here's the end result of my flicky blow dry. Like I said, it frames around the face as I have got layers. But thank you for watching and I have got another few videos on my channel. One's a curly blow dry, so if you do like it more full and bouncy, please check it out.